column of armored vehicles rolling into southern Russia's Kursk Oblast on the third day of Ukraine's surprise attack into Russia confirms the involvement of one of Ukraine's best equipped and fastest moving brigades, the 80th Air Assault Brigade. The Forbes media outlet reported this. It is noted that a video that circulated on social media depicts a T-64BV or T-80BV tank, a UR mine clearing vehicles, an IMR-2 engineering vehicle plus BTR-80 and US-made striker wheeled armored personnel carriers rolling past a busy Ukrainian mortar crew. All the vehicles are up armored with anti-drone cages. Infantry crowd the top of the BTR-80. Forbes recalled that only the 80th Air Assault Brigade operates that mix of ex-Soviet and ex-American vehicles. Further confirmation is found in a separate video shot by a Russian drone depicting strikes on ex-German Marder tracked fighting vehicles in Kursk Oblast. The 80th Air Assault Brigade, like its sister unit, the 82nd Air Assault Brigade, apparently operates Marders alongside its strikers. The Marders are heavy, the strikers are fast. They suit the Ukrainian Air Assault Force's preference for swift but powerful attacks, according to Forbes. The participation of the 80th Air Assault Brigade, one of the better Ukrainian brigades, underscores the scale of the Ukrainian operation just north of Ukraine's northern border with Russia. Forbes says that in the 29 months since Russia widened its war on Ukraine, pro-Ukrainian fighters have launched many raids across the border into southern Russia. But these raids have been small in scale and limited in scope and have never lasted more than a few days. More than anything, they've been meant to embarrass Russian leaders. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine believes that this offensive may force Moscow to transfer troops from the Donetsk region and slow down Russian successes in this direction. In order for this tactic to bring success to Kiev, the Russians must transfer many troops from the Donetsk direction. If the Russians stop the Ukrainian offensive in Kursk without bringing in additional forces, the offensive in Kursk will lose its meaning. According to one version, the Scythians are considered the ancestors of the Ukrainians. These steppe tribes were famous for their high level of combat capability and defeated even Alexander the Great, who was considered an invincible commander. The entry of the Ukrainian armed forces into the Kursk region and rapid advancement deep into Russia is precisely the signature Scythian style, wrote a Russian opposition political strategist in a column for the publication Point Media. Today, Ukrainians are doing the same thing that the Scythians demonstrated two and a half thousand years ago in the war with the Persians, who invaded the territory of the northern Black Sea region. The sudden raids on the rear not only unpleasantly surprised the Persian army of Darius, but also exhausted it to such an extent that it had to leave the lands of the Scythians. Now the Ukrainian armed forces are demonstrating a model of warfare that awaits the Russian Federation in the foreseeable future.
Galyamov believes the Russians will attack the Ukrainians head on with all their might and the Ukrainians in turn will hit them here and there, suddenly appearing in the most unexpected places. In such conditions, a war of conquest immediately loses its popularity. People begin to think that since our army does not know how to fight, it was necessary not to even start. Like Yerema Yerema, you should have stayed at home. So it will become even more difficult for Putin to recruit contract soldiers for the war, the oppositionist predicted. Galyamov also emphasized that Ukraine has regained the initiative not only in the military, but also in the political sense of the word, demonstrating the victory of intelligence over brute force. Let us recall that Abbas Galyamov ridiculed the Kremlin's actions against the backdrop of events in the Kursk region. Now the Russian authorities will cause much more negativity in society.